So today we're putting together a PSA submission, some Pokemon cards that are, some are mine and some are my friends, and we're gonna put them together. I'm gonna show you what I look for and what I think these grades will be. I think it's just kind of a helpful video, trying to educate you guys on how to pre-grade, how to look at cards and kind of know if they're gonna get 10s, or maybe they're nines, maybe they're eights. So this should be a pretty good video for you and maybe you'll learn something. Oh, thank you. My wife's bringing me some tea. Feeling a little sick, so you know you gotta gotta get a uh, gotta get teed up. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put you right there. You don't spill on the cards; it's very important. And if this is your first time watching this, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. I try to post two videos every week, just hanging out, talking about Pokemon cards. It's something that I'm really passionate about, and I'm guessing you are too. And if you hate this video, make sure to dislike it. Make sure to uh, not share it with anybody. That would be really bad. All right, so I've got cards right here. Yes, Pokemon cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I have seven cards right here. I'm going to go through these. I'm going to show you why... I think a card will get a 10, why I think it might get a nine or an eight, so on and so forth. Yes, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card in there. Yes, I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Sorry about that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with this card right here, okay? So this is a recent one that I pulled and I'll go ahead and pull it out for you. This is a really beautiful Tornadus V from Chilling Rain. And a couple things you just wanna look at right off the bat. So number one, when you're looking at grading some cards, you gotta get some penny sleeves and you gotta get some card savers. I use card saver ones, they're really great um, and they keep everything intact and this is actually what PSA wants from you when you do go to send your cards to them. It's really important you don't use rigids or uh, you know top loaders or anything like this. You wanna use card savers. Card saver ones are great. So here's Tornadus V. This is a really nicely centered card. You just use your eyeballs. I had a friend reach out to me this week and he, he was asking me about um, getting one of those like things where you can see how the centering looks on the card. You don't need that. You're just gonna look, use your eyeballs, look at the centering, okay? So this one's a really, really nicely centered. Um, the bottom is the thinnest part. So the top is a little bit thicker, um, but everything else looks really nice on this card. Corners look really great and show you them the surface looks great yeah so this is a really really minty card i'm thinking a 10 on this one uh these alt arts grade pretty well typically with alt arts i've had really nice success rates um with a lot of the vintage stuff it's dicey right so it's really common to get eights and nines with the vintage stuff but modern japanese usually does really well but this particular card is pretty poorly centered and i'll show you what i mean this is a Tag Team GX from Remix Bout. Venusaur is my favorite Pokemon, so definitely liked picking this one up. But you can see very easily with these GX cards, they have a black border on them. See how black border goes around? And you can see the black border on the right side is definitely heavier than the one on the left. So this is a poorly centered card. Um, for that alone, I would say this is going to get a 9, like, you know, right off the bat. But to me, I don't care too much. I do want one of these in my collection. A 9 is perfectly fine for me. And the back looks really nice. The surface looks really good. So you just want to shine some light on it. You want to see if you can see any scratches, any dents, dings, things like that. Because those are all going to knock against your grade. Um, so you're really looking at centering, right? So how well is the picture centered on the card? Then you're looking at corners, whether or not you have any white dots or scratches or dents or dings on the corners. You're looking at the edges. Are they cut really, really clean? Or do they have a little scuffing going on? Then you're obviously looking at the surface of the card. Do you have any scratches? Do you have any surface defects like polyfoil bleeds or print lines, things like that? So this is one of my friend's cards and I'll go ahead and take this one out so you can see what we got going on here. So this one, I want to say this wasn't centered very well so you can see it's a little thinner on the right side than it is on the left and then one of the other things with this card is there's a little nick at the top see that little tiny nick right there so that alone that little nick right there will definitely make sure this is a nine now it could be a nine but it won't be a 10 it also could be an eight just depends on what grader you get. 
Um, yeah, I would not be surprised if that card's an eight. Would not be surprised if that card was a nine. Actually, with Champion's Path specifically, and some of those early Sword and Shield sets, um, the ones that came out of the ETBs, when you pull this card from a Elite Trainer box, that was really common because of how they packed the, the packs. They like kind of jumped up and down and they hit this like plastic thing. And uh, you get these little dings on the middle of the card. It's really unfortunate. And we have another one, but uh, this one's really poorly centered. You can see on the right side, pretty thin on the right side or on the left side, pretty thick. So this is really the one problem with this one. So obviously you can see that centering is just not as fresh as the other one. The other one's definitely better centered. Moving on from there and we have the Gengar Mimikyu. Now this one, Chef's Kiss. This is a beautiful card, very nicely centered card. You see the border looks really nice all the way along. It's a little thicker on the bottom and a little thinner on the top, but I think it's probably within range to get a 10. And then other things look really nice on this card. Surface looks good. It's not perfect, but it definitely looks really good. Like there's definitely some stuff going there on the right side, on the back. But yeah, looks really nice. Really nice card. I think this one should score pretty highly. I'm gonna say that's probably a 10. And for the Yu-Gi-Oh card, we have a Trihorn Dragon from Legend of Blue Eyes. This is one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I actually was fortunate enough to pull this with one of my friends. We uh, hopped on Instagram message uh, video and uh, we used to play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot growing up. And this particular card looked really nice and clean. Um, and I really like Trihorn Dragon. That's uh, one of my favorites. So I want to go ahead and send this in. But this one looks really nice. It's a nicely centered card. You can see the centering's really great. Border looks really crystal clean all the way around. And then on the back, sometimes you have issues on the back of these cards. And I thought this one looked pretty good. A couple little dots right there, but this is a pretty clean card. And I think it could get, it could get a 10. It could get a 10. Uh, you know, with Yu-Gi-Oh, you never really know. It could, could be a seven. Uh, it just depends on who you get for grading. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards are generally imperfect. Um, Pokemon does a better job, especially with their modern cards. They do a better job with print quality. Um, but yeah, so awesome card there. And last but not least, we have the big boy Arceus Dialga Palkia. This is probably the most expensive card of the submission. And uh, my friend Eric, who is giving this to us to send in, he pulled this from a dollar pack way back in the day when Cosmic Eclipse was available at dollar stores. It's no longer available at dollar stores. Um, but this was like a pretty cheap card when he pulled it. Um, it was pretty inexpensive. And uh, yeah, I think this number one, I mean, I think the, the centering looks really good. The corners look really nice. And uh, yeah, this is a beautiful card. I have no doubt in my mind that this gets a 10, um, but you know, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. In fact, I've been really wrong. So you guys are gonna enjoy uh, a video here coming up where I am super, super wrong. And there you have it. There's my PSA submission for the next go around. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to let your grandma know about this channel. She would really enjoy it as well, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks so much for coming today. Thanks so much for watching this and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.